welcome back to another video. As you can see, this time it is not Rocket League, it is not video games. I got this thing in the mail today. And if you can read it, the memory module upgrade, 8 gigabytes. So basically, um, this is going to allow my computer to have 8 more gigabytes of RAM on top of the 8 that comes preloaded in it. I have to figure out how to open this thing. So it's got this on the back. It comes in a little package like this. It actually came in in this thing. Well, it came in this thing, and you can see through. Yeah. And then that was this, the memory modules. Now I gotta open it. I did not think to bring scissors in here with me, but it doesn't look like we need it because I can just, uh, I'm just gonna be able to punch this through right here in the perforations. And now I should be able to get this part opened up eventually a few moments later there we go okay so as you can see now we're I'm gonna leave this part intact on the front here that should be enough to all we should have to do here is separate this black part right here two thousand years later there we go Heard it snap open there. Now I want to be really careful here. So if I get this last corner out, there, I got it. All right, we now have access to memory module. Be very careful touching this thing. It's got little instructions in the bottom. I want you to see it up close first. The Dell certified eight gigabyte memory upgrade. Yeah. Now, me being the great person I am, and you know, I always got to read the directions here. So let's go ahead and take these out. Figure out what they say. Um. So you're basically just troubleshooting tips. That's a lot of terms of use. And okay, so we have terms and conditions of sale. Blah, 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 end user license agreement. Shows you how to install it, but luckily enough for me. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so basically, I'm gonna leave the, leave the instructions here because I might need them. So yeah, as you can see, I have my computer right here. So before you do anything inside your computer, shut it down. I've already shut this down. As you can see, if I open up the lid, you know, you can see Display doesn't come on, so yeah. So it's it's turned off, fully shut down. What you also want to sorry about the camera there. What you also want to do is you want to unplug everything else that includes power, Ethernet. I've already unplugged everything else for you know ease of use. And then you're going to want to turn your computer upside down, preferably like this. So you have here is the. In case you haven't seen the bottom of this before, here's the subwoofer. This is the back panel. You can see some stuff in here. Luckily for me, uh, there's only one screw that I have to undo, and then I just have to pop this part out so I can access the RAM. I have this handy handy little screwdriver here. So I'm gonna do this screw up here, and I'm just gonna unscrew it. All right. And now, as you can see, this part's a little bit elevated. I just Pop it across, pop it over the corner, pop it over the sides, and voila, the inside of the computer. I'm gonna lay, this is what the inside of it looks like. I'm gonna lay this down over here. So yeah, so this is the inside of the computer. Here's the battery. This is the hard drive. This is the other RAM stick that we have. Um, we got two fans here, and the processor is buried somewhere in here. I'm not gonna undo any, anything else. If you can access the RAM slots right here, all right, I have the service manual pulled up on my monitor and I have the directions, so here we go. So it says to put it in at an angle. I'm assuming like that, let it go. And then to make sure these two things are aligned. So basically what I'm, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to get it so it lines up perfectly like that. And these clips should in theory go like that. It should line up perfectly. That's what it's not doing. So I'm trying to figure out 
how to line it up so that they line up perfectly. And it is in the right spot because you can see that thing is lined up well. One of my flashlights went out. Oh, well, whatever. You can still kind of see what I'm doing here. All right. Oh, there we go. Lined up and it clicks. Boom. We did it. I'm just going to double check here. I know my hands look super red. Sorry. We did it. It's now installed. So let me grab back our base plate here. Remember this thing? I know you probably can't see what it is because it zoomed in so much. This thing. I'll lay this back on top like this. All right. Let's uh, get everything put pressed down back into place here. So there's the bottom lined up. All right. That that should be just about everything. All right, let's go ahead and do the screw, and we need these last two. Oh, there we go, we did them. So let's just screw this back in here. Not too tight, if you do it too tight, you're gonna break it. You don't wanna strip, a, strip anything here. It's good, press down everywhere. Screw is tight, not too, not too tight, not too loose. And there you have it, that's how you install RAM on a the Dell what is this Inspiron 15 5577 gaming service well, gaming laptop not service that's the service manual I don't even know what kind of laptop I have that's how smart I am all right cool so I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and boot this up and I'll show you the difference well that didn't work as you can see I only have eight gigabytes of RAM installed right now that is because the new uh, RAM stick that I got doesn't work uh, every time I tried to install it, it crashed my computer. So I've reached out to Dell. Hopefully they'll be getting back to me soon with a fix or a replacement or something. Um, but until next week's video, this is where I'm going to leave it off. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.